Hey everybody, uh, today is uh, just a quick intro to Where Is My Mind uh, by the Pixies. So most of the song, uh, both the verse and the choruses, just goes through the same four chords with the same strum. So let's start with the strum. We'll just play an E major chord. And our strum goes... Um, So if I break that strum into three parts, first you've got three downs, two of them are slightly smaller and the third one's the strongest. Okay, the second part is down, up, down, up, down, so it adds up to five, one, two, three, four, five. All at a steady pace like that. Okay, so part one's three downs, part two's down, up, down, up, down. Okay, run those together, we get... Okay, and the last part is just a down and a little down up wiggle to bring us back to the start. So final part, down, down, up, like that. So part one, three downs. Part two, five, and a down, up, down, up, down. Part three, down, down, up. Put them all together and you get down, 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 up, down, up, down. Final bit, down, down, up. One more time. and you can use that strum for most of the song. Uh, the four chords that make up the bulk of the song are E, C sharp minor, G sharp and A. So we're going to do the C sharp minor, the G sharp and the A all as power chords, uh, sorry, bar chords. Okay, so we'll start with our E. When I'm doing a song that's got a lot of bar chords in it, I like to use these three fingers to play my E chord. So I'll put my middle finger on the G string in the first fret. I'll put my ring finger on the A string in the second fret, and my little finger on the second fret on the D string. That leaves my pointer finger free, so I can slide up to do the bar chords. Okay, so here's your E. We go up to the C sharp minor. Okay, so this is a bar chord which is the same shape as an A minor chord. We've got our index finger doing the bar over all of the strings. We've got our middle finger on fret five, on the B string, ring finger on fret 6 on the D string, little finger fret 6 on the G string. Okay? That's C sharp minor. So we go from A to C sharp minor. If you lift every one of these three fingers up a string, you get your G sharp. Okay, notice this is the same shape as an E chord. It's just been moved up to the fourth fret. So we have index across all six strings on the fourth fret. Middle finger, 5th fret on the G string, ring finger, 6th fret on the A string, little finger, 6th fret on the G, D string. Okay, there's your G sharp, so we've got E, C sharp minor, G sharp, and if we just slide that chord up 1 fret, so we're now on the 5th fret with this bar finger, there's your A. Okay, those are the 4 chords. I'm just going to go around the chords without bothering with the strum. So I'm just going to wait for one beat in between each chord so we can practice changing. Here we go. C sharp minor. C sharp minor. Sorry. C sharp minor. This is a G sharp, not a minor. One more time. Okay. And those changes, E. C sharp minor to G sharp to A. Those four chords we'll see through most of the song, where is my mind? Okay, now it's time to put the strum in. So basically we split that strum in half. Remember our strum was three downs, then a down, up, down, up, down, adding up to five. One, two, three, four, five. And final part, down, down, up. Okay, so the whole strum would be... What we do is we change halfway through the strum 
to our next chord. So we'll do our three downs on that E chord, and as we up to the C sharp minor, three downs on that G sharp. changing. After you've done those three downs on the E nice and firm, you can start changing up to your C sharp minor. And you can sort of be halfway through that set of down, up, down, up, downs as you settle into that C sharp minor chord. So you don't have to be straight on it. It'll sound like this. Changing now and set to it. Here's your G sharp. That's got the firm three downs. And as I slide up, settle into it as I do that down, up, down, up, down. Okay, so just for practice sake, let's go through the chord progression eight times. C sharp minor, C sharp. Okay, here we go. The one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're going to go my mind there is a slight change to the chords and uh, I'll deal with that in another lesson. But those four chords will see you through most of the song. Uh, so practice them up until you can do that smooth change between the chords. Um, have fun with that and I'll see you all next week. Happy strumming. <laughs>